Well, it's pre-spring on 3B Outdoors today. We're on Mystery Lake, that clear, cold mountain lake that we just love to go to that's up there in the middle of nowhere. Some of you get just a little frustrated with us when we don't share the exact location. But here's a couple of reasons why. It's really, really small. It's really, really fragile and just can't take a lot of pressure. But more importantly, not too many years ago, the fishing was less than phenomenal. So what we encourage you to do is find a mystery lake near your hometown and take advantage of it the way we do. Well, Kevin Powers and Barry Loop are up there working hard today to solve the riddle on those big smallmouth bass. Let's jump in the boat and watch them go to work. <laughs> This night here might have a little more pull. What a beast of a smallmouth. Gotta throw a top line. Yes. Yes. We're here in Ohio. Yes, sir. It all happened so fast. Boy, the big dog just put the smoke on a big old hole. <laughs> Three B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. All right, come on back there, and it's kind of popping. It should roll right off. There you go. Kevin, what? As you can see, yeah, we've got about twelve rods up here. That so shows you how they've been biting. You don't know what you're gonna catch them on. Oh, really? Yeah. It's been tough. It's tough. Tougher. I mean, one day I caught, I had a pretty good day and caught a couple over four, but it's just been, I'm figuring jerk bait to begin with because it's early. I don't know. It better not be tough. I drove 102 miles. Huh. You're catching off the ramp right here? Yep. There's several good little. Now, a couple years ago now, we was over in that pocket right over here, wasn't we? Yeah, and we've been back over, I'm going to go on the upper end more. The water temperature's warmer back in there. Okay, cool. Let me catch them on swim baits. And a little old bass on the dirt bait. First fish today. Got the skunk out of the boat. We'll take it. A little fat female out there. Look at her. She ain't spawning yet, has she? No, she's pooped out. They ain't spawning yet. On 13 inch fish, but we'll take it. He got one already. She bit. Well, say I don't have my pliers out here. I'm gonna get a jerk bait with all them hooks in there. Did you work any fast, Barry? Uh, it's, yeah, pretty fast. I mean, then I'll, you know, just first fish of the day. Not a big one by no means, but listen, you can't uh, choose sometimes which one's hit. So he's 14 incher. Fat little female. Ready to spawn and fed up. Thank you, girl. Let me, well, let, let me rub on you. Maybe I'll get some yeah, on things. Yeah, rub it, rub it. <laughs> rub it. Nothing but luck, man. Nothing but luck. A little jerk bait. Got one. They're laying right there in that pocket, aren't they? Yeah, another one. Yeah, what a guide. You can't beat it. Look at that, that's slick now. That's already spawned out, boy. Look at that. Well, she's just getting ready. Got them black freckles on her. Yeah. I don't think they spawned it. I don't think it's been warm enough, but she's looking like she's. She looks like she spawned out. Let me see them pliers. Golly. Yeah, they, they, they should be moving up shallow. Golly. I mean, they're hitting it mean. Sorry, Mr. Fish. I know it's rough. Here's your little fish. That's a good start. Let's catch some more. Well, it's got the skunk out of the boat. Oh, yeah, both of them got one. Look what happens when I rub on you a little bit. See, that wired in it. Look here. Yeah, you got, you got it going on. Just trying to keep them honest here. I'm almost going to throw back over there again, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Gosh, I like that. Get up at 4.30 in the morning, come up here and catch a couple fish already. Where's that point at? It's so good. Oh, oh yonder, ain't it? God, that's, a, that's a good little home. Small game. Small one. On Nathan's rod. Not Nathan's rod. I had to drag out Nathan's rod here. He had both hooks, the little yeah. finger and the main hook. He's a male. 
Yeah, we have some metal. It's not much, that's the third one of the day. Maybe we'll figure something out here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fish. Makes a man happy. Which way? Go, let me trace up with you. Oh, we got a nice one. It's nicer. Ain't no monster, but that will start wiping the season, maybe. He hit it good, though. I've seen them spawn down. I smell like they have. I don't like to have, but now I'm like, well, how slick they are. Yeah, it might be the males coming up there too, though. Could be. That's a good fish. See, they're 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 slick. Yeah, but you just I don't know. You think it's males? Yeah, they they get those little black spots on them every year. I don't know what it is. Little freckles. I've been catching them on the holster. Got a lot too. Pretty fish, though. He's probably 18 incher. There's no, no belly. I just don't think his spawns are just not really red. But pretty fish, though, so we'll take him. Real pretty fish. Thank you, Lord. Put you back. I'd say that's a male. This don't look like a female to me. But Looks awful shallow in the One belly. at a time. It's been slow, but we're trying. Spring water temperature 55. you think they'd be on, but that's just not the way it is. But it could happen any time. Get them, Kev. Get him. I'm trying. You get him. You get him now. Oh man, look at that. Curry bass. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spothawk, the world's toughest archery products. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminox. Light them up at Luminox.com. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's good. I think they should be up. Not a monster, but I think it's them males coming up here. Might be a female. She's pooped out. Oh, sorry. That's female. That's there. female there. Yeah. Believe. Yeah, that's female. Big mamas are somewhere. Just got to. Yeah. It may not be big, but you know what it is? It's two bites in the last five minutes. Well, so. I mean, at the end, they got a big belly, so I mean, it could get something going on, but. Thank you, Lord. That was on the Squire Bill, one of my favorite plugs right there. I don't know how many fish I've caught over the years, lake, river, whatever. It's just. Good cover combo for spring. 
caught them in the river big time on it too, so we'll just keep throwing it. Maybe the big one will get on there. Time to change. Ooh. Something knocked it. Did it? Just, yeah. I guess it could have been a stick or something, but. Sure felt like something bumped it there for a second. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There's Nathan's mission fish here, and I was throwing it there, and I was reeling it back real slow, and I felt one tap it, and I kept reeling it. And all of a sudden, it tugged, and I tugged back, but it kind of took the tail away from me. That could be a muskie. Uh, Barry said that one of his buddies had the exact same thing happen the other day, so, and this place is loaded with muskies, so I guess Nathan's going to have to fish it like that or steal a tail off another one. Let's go, let's keep on fishing. This is good in there. That's a big one right there. I about guarantee you when we get the net. No. Huh? No. You sure? Yeah. This one? This is one. I told you it was on that drop off out here, didn't I? Look, look at that. That's a good one. Thank he you drilled that thing, didn't he? That. He oh. grilled her, didn't he, brother? That's a female. Yeah. She is out there. She, listen, she's out there in 14 foot of water, buddy. Yeah, I let it go all the way to the bottom. And I hopped it up there one time. As soon as I hopped it up there, there's a little white marks on the side of the gills. That's what Joe Lee likes to do right there. Yeah, and that's what, if you see somebody can really mount them well, you always see that little Got white spot the there. Bellies. Got a little bellies. Thank you, Mr. Fish. 14 foot of water. That it's shows great. it ain't moved up out of spawn yet. Congrats, right big boy. All right. Swim bait. The infamous swim bait. Let's see if we can't catch another one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> can't catch no fish, but. There you go. Watch my one. Since you saw it first, I guess it's yours. Take a plug on. Well, you're dang on right. That's you're a, a plug nice hunter. Spook. See why that's a good for spawning over here, don't you? Oh, give them another two or three weeks of warm weather. That's what it's going to be right there. Or maybe a pop bar. What kind of partial to a pop bar? Nice find. Yeah, it's been a tough day so far, brother. Picking up a few here and there. Just too nice a day, you know. It's gonna change. It's this gonna time change. here and that water temperature warms up, it's 55. It's 55 so. and it's warm, been started about 53 when we started this morning, 54. A full moon two days ago, they should be moving up to get ready to do the thing. We just gotta find them. Everybody thinks it's easy up here, don't they? Everybody thinks you just come up here and catch them every well, trip. Well, don't well, they? It's a mystery lake and it's a mystery, that's, that's it? what the great mystery is. If it was easy, everybody could do it. I mean, there's been a couple boats already loaded up and went home yeah. this morning. That I told you about a bear holson the other day, didn't you? Me and Andy was fishing, going by this one boat, and I was talking, I asked him how this doing. He said, is your name Kevin Powers? I said, yeah. I watch you on 3B Outdoors. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Been tough this morning now, really tough. It's hard to keep pushing on when the fish ain't biting. But you got to. Someday and sometime they will bite. You gotta be ready when they do. Sometimes you would think that there's not a fish in the lake. Until Nathan starts fishing. And then Nathan starts fishing, he's saying, well, hey, there are fish up here. How's it good? Okay. Good. It's a good. Won't be looking for. He hit that swim bay like he meant to. Easy now. That's a good. That's a good. There we go. It's a lot better. Fat. I think I hit it right. It's a good fish. Thank you, Lord. Took my hat off and my sunglasses, and I said, "Let's get her done." Them fish are spawned out, I'm telling you. They ain't spawned. I'm telling you, some of them are spawned out. We'll take it. We'll take it, no matter if we're the, the swim bait. We're out here in 14 foot of water. We couldn't catch them shallow. 
very much, could we? Mm -hmm. I mean, you it's caught good. the three pounder out deep, and they caught this in here out deep, so we'll stay deep for a while. Maybe they'll move in shallow this afternoon, but until then, we'll stay out here We're deep. We're just glad to have it. Yeah. That's pretty fish, though, isn't it? He? Oh, he's pretty in that sun. There you go, brother. He stroked it. <laughs> he stroked it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Even through water, but I had water on my hand. Yeah, yeah. That's probably just shine off my head. They're probably uh, blinded. They probably didn't even see no fish on the camera because there's this glare. I'm not going to comment on that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, they ain't no use. All right. Catch another. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. In Northeast Tennessee. sizzle of local flavor. Live the heart of its people. Live the adventure at every turn. While you retreat, play, relax. When you visit Kingsport, you live Kingsport. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminock. Light them up at luminock.com. This is high-speed footage of the Ripcord Code Red and a competitor's fall-away arrow rest. Both fall as designed, but watch what happens to each launcher arm after fall-away. Ripcord's drop-dead break stops any launcher bounce back, while the competitor's launcher arm bounces back up into the arrow. This will affect arrow flight and broadhead accuracy. Eliminate launcher bounce back with Ripcord Code Red, the number one fall-away rest. 3B Outdoors is stoked to announce a new partnership with Dwayne Wilson, owner of Dixie Custom Rods and Tackle. He builds truly custom rods at an affordable price for any style and action up to the 9 foot 9 inch ledge rocket. For an amazing combination, add one of his new reels to a custom rod. Dwayne's tungsten jigs and weights, the Mega Flash and Dixie Triple Threat umbrella style rigs are proven fish catching machines. Dwayne might even build you one just like the one I use, a 7 foot 4 inch medium action tight lining rod that is totally out of this world. I thought he was. Well, he drilled that dirt bait, didn't he? Yeah, he took off. Now he, now he knows. Yeah. He got... He hit it three times in there. He missed it the first time through. Brought it back in there a second time. He couldn't take it that time. Pretty little bass. Late in the day here. We got rid of Kevin. So uh, we might catch some now that Kevin's gone. He had to leave a little early. I just filled in for him back here, man. Banged that on a jerk bait. Whoa, he's happy. It's getting late evening time. You know what happens. Can't ever tell. Got another one. Mm. Oh, got up under the boat, didn't he? Wore him out. That's a lot better one. He's skinny before he did. I mean, choked it. Tiger stripes and all, man. Missing fish swim bait. Pretty small. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Put clear water and watch it take off. See, I seen him from way out there. Pretty amazing. On that back over under six or eight inches of water, look at it. Yes, sir, baby. It's getting late in. Can't never tell what's gonna happen here. 
and they bow up on one that you can't turn here in just a minute. We're still active. It's a good nerve. Yes, white fish going crazy, man. Look at that. <laughs> I thought it was a lot bigger, but man, he is going nuts. He danced. He's dancing a little bit. I thought he was a lot bigger than that boy. He was ferocious. He danced, or she did. That's a female. Easy now, that's pretty good fish. Watching triple hooks, that's not good. That's a female. Now she went ballistic. Easy now, don't do it. Not no monster, but boy, she... Airborne, wasn't she? Went to airborne, went to dancing. That's a female, ain't spawned out. Pretty fish. Yeah, pretty. Thank you, Lord. Starting to bite here a little bit. It's 20 minutes before. Who knows? It's been tough all day, and then they started. Well, we've caught three in what about 15 minutes? Yeah, or 10, because he just caught one like two minutes ago. So we're getting on them, maybe. We'll see what the evening brings. Gotta keep chunking. She drilled that I man. I'm like, that's a monster, and then she tail walked. Here's her kicker fish if it don't get off, unless it got sidetracked. That's a good one there, I think. We found a little corner pocket full of fish. That's four fish in about. Oof. He's hooked up under the chin. He's not a monster, but he ain't no little one, but. Come here easy now. God, look how pretty that fish is. He ain't no monster, but he ain't no little one either. Bowed up. At the, he must swatch that and got it up under the chin. That's a pretty hefty fish. That's female too. She's not but that might be a a male and I'll show you why. I mean something you can see coming out of there and you don't hate to be gross, but you see that little string there. Could just be from her egg sac. I don't know if you can see it or not right there, but a little stringy substance. See, they're getting close to spawning. I'd say it's a female, probably got part of a little egg sac, but pretty little fish, maybe two and three quarter. Smoked pretty, and jerk bait. Yeah, that we found a little corner of them in here for some reason, just started to bite, so. Thank the Lord. Whoop, yeah. <laughs> they're fighting hard anyway. Keep on plugging, ain't we, Nathan? Gotta keep on chucking. Keep on trucking. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Stealth is lethal. Specifically optimized for close quarters engagement in tight shot positions, the Triax is the quietest, most vibration-free bow we've ever created. Smooth to draw, silent to shoot, the 2018 Triax. Experience it today at your local authorized retailer. Whether you're spending the day running around at 70 miles an hour in a high-powered bass boat, fishing a competitive stress field tournament, or just enjoying a day on the lake, you can never have enough, Dr. Enough. Well, this turkey hunting is way overrated. Let's go down Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken. You know what Mike says, seven days without chicken makes one week. Let's go. On a good home-cooked meal, come to Lynn Garden Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's your proof. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spothawk, the world's toughest archery products. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and 
write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hello, Dinker Fish. We'll take him, we'll swing him. His mama loves him, too. His mama loves him. That's a little female. Look how pooched out she is. That's a good sign, though, to see a 13 incher wanting to spawn, be ferocious. That means you got a good year class in here. One of these days, that'll be four or five pounders. Pretty little fish. Oh, well, amen. Uh, Nathan says they're big for their size. I don't know who told you that, but I guess that's right. We've all heard of glory days. Well, today wasn't one of them. <laughs> I thought about it before. Some days you're the dog, some days you're the catcher. Well, evidently today we are semi-dogs. We've caught, I don't know, maybe 15, 16 fish, maybe 18, but uh, nothing real big. Had a couple three pounders. It's been a tough day. We fish shallow, we fish deep, uh, we fish slow, we fish fast, we fish soft plastics, we fish jerk baits, and just a little bit of everything. We the fish, the water temperature is 55 to 60, so they just have not made their move up into the shallow water to uh, start spawning yet. So we've had a great day, great day of the fellowship. We have worked hard on them for about eight or nine hours, so uh, we're thankful for what we caught. But uh, it's a great mystery why that uh, when everything is right that the big fish don't bite but that's fishing so i hope you enjoyed it and learned a little something we don't always catch five pounders on every cast like many folks do mm -hmm. good to have you with us god bless you thank you for watching 3b outdoors try to catch one more before it's all over <laughs> We leaving. Leaving? Yep. Well, if you've ever fished for smallmouth bass, you can relate to the experiences that Barry and Kevin were having today trying to solve the riddle on those mean old smallmouth up there at Mystery Lake. The conditions were right. They were on the right body of water. They were throwing the right lures at the right time. But you know those big smallies, they must not have got the memo. They didn't play fair, they were playing hard to get. But they stayed after it, didn't give up, put together a really good bag of fish and created a ton of memories, which is really what it's all about. Don't miss next week. Freddie will have you in the woods somewhere trying to shoot something. I know it's gonna be a great show. From all of us here at 3B Outdoors, we thank you for watching. God bless you, I'm Nathan White. In the morning before the rising sun, load up boats, rods and rigs.